What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the third beta of WatchOS 26, and in this video I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a little bit to talk about, let's get started. All right, for me, on my Apple Watch Series 8, it came in at 720 megabytes. However, this will be depending based on what Apple Watch you have. If you have an Ultra, it'll probably will be a little bit higher. But Apple will be deleting the old stuff as soon as the new stuff is in. Yeah, let me show you what is new inside of WatchOS. All right, the first thing is that if you were to go inside the workout app right here and you were to scroll, you're gonna see that the buttons disappear as you scroll. It's now a lot more roulette-y, and so overall, a lot better than it was before. You'll also notice that if you tap and hold the play button, it actually has one of the liquid glass effects. So a lot of the liquid glass effects are not very seen inside of WatchOS for whatever reason, but this is one of the first ones that has been implemented here. I think it's a very nice change that we now have the play button in general, especially now that it has a liquid glass effect. Now the next thing has to do if you were to lock your Apple Watch. So if you were to lock your Apple Watch, you're gonna see right here that the passcode screen has been completely changed right here. So you'll see that everything is now a lot more rounded here, which is, which is really nice to see. And it's overall what I would have expected Apple to do for WatchOS 26 if they were to do a redesign. Before I was not, I was kind of surprised seeing that it was still squared, but now it's actually circled off. It's actually liquid glass-ish a little bit. I mean, it did have that effect before inside of WatchOS 11, but it's now a little bit more of a prominent effect for the pop-ups like that. Now the next change has to do is, is with a couple of icons. If you were to scroll down a bit, you're gonna notice that the first icon that changed is the Stocks app icon. So I think this one looks a little bit better than it was before. The next one is the Sleep app. It's more purple now than it was before. It used to be blue, now it's purple. And now the last icon here is with the Notes app. Before it used to be all the way down here, now it's right here. So I guess it moved my, itself up a little bit, but now you can see it's more of the iOS icon than Vision OS, which is extremely interesting to see because uh, I was thinking that Apple is just going to bring over Vision OS icons to Watch OS and make it that style, and then eventually bring them back to Vision OS. So I guess that's a little bit interesting that they have made it the iOS icon instead of Vision OS. I guess this is what they wanted with Vision OS, but they couldn't do it until now. You also notice that throughout the entire operating system in this beta, that liquid glass got buffed a little bit. So this edit button right here is actually more liquid glassy than it was before, which is extremely nice to see. You'll see a lot has changed with the watchOS design, making it look a lot better than it was before. Anyways, that's everything new here inside of WatchOS 26. Now, what can we expect next from Apple? If I were to go inside of my calendar right here, you're gonna notice that the next thing that's coming up is the public beta. So I'm gonna expect that here on the 14th, if not the 15th, I think Apple will be releasing a WatchOS 26 and a half. I don't remember if they do that only for iOS or macOS or not, but they could also do it for WatchOS as well. But that is something to keep in mind when the public beta does release, that it might be a re-release of beta 3. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Tell my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!